All right, well, I'm going to be showing you an ancient recipe uh, on how to make uh, glue. Um, uh, it's an ancient recipe. It's been uh, taught to me by some old lady in Italy who used to work in a post office uh, just after the Second World War, and people were very poor and everything, so they didn't have uh, enough money to use proper glue, and they had to make it themselves. Uh, it's a very strong glue, the only... Uh, well, it's it's very simple to make, but kind of like a recipe that's been forgotten through the ages and all that. Uh, by the way, I've been cleaning up here. Uh, look at this. Spent uh, quite a bit of time, and well, uh, it's a lot easier to breathe here now. You know, I don't have to use a gas mask, and well, now I'm gonna have to clean up uh, all this stuff. I don't dare uh, show you the bathroom though, because. Um, well, there's something unnatural in there. Uh, so, uh, first, uh, I'm going to need some water. Wait a minute. Uh, sorry about that. The camera died. Uh, the batteries, rather. Um, this is a very bad camera uh, that I'm using. And um, after, like, I don't know, a few minutes, uh, even if I have new batteries, they just die out so anyway and uh, so this recipe um, it was originally used uh, in the post office uh, to glue uh, stamps uh, on envelopes okay and uh, it, it was pretty strong like um, basically um, whenever um, it was ready uh, they would, you know, put the stuff on envelopes and everything, and, uh, basically it was hard as cement, you know, it was really, a really good glue. There's only one thing that, um, that isn't really good, that, well, the only weakness, basically, is that, uh, this kind of glue is, um, it doesn't last, uh, long, so when you make it, you're gonna have to use it within uh, the same day. So anyway, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna. I think this is clean enough. And we're gonna be blending uh, some water uh, with the floor here. Uh, okay. This is a uh, Robin Hood uh, enriched uh, floor or stuff like that. I'm not using the original package because uh, that would be a copyright violation and I would have like cops, you know, like uh, destroying my door and coming in and, and shooting me or something. And uh, like then, uh, you know, they're going to arrest me and, and like, you know, uh, rape me or whatever and, and force me to sign a confession. I don't know. So instead, I'm just using this uh, peanut butter uh, box. So you put some floor uh, water. Wait a minute. Anyway, uh, heard a story recently about this guy. Um, he uh, he married a girl, and um, well, they've been married for a while. But the thing is that they weren't getting along. Okay, so. Uh, they separated, and that guy was uh, dating another girl for something like 20 years or something, but he never married her, so he was um, he was still married to the first girl, but, uh, you know, it's been like 20 years, they hadn't seen each other for all that time, and basically, um, Maybe I put, put too much water, I'm not sure, anyway. And basically what happened was, um, uh, when he died, he left a will, and uh, the two girls had the, the same first name. So he uh, wrote in his will, you know, I'm going to leave, you know, properties, whatever, to my dear, and he wrote the first name. And then both women you know, went to court, and, you know, they were, uh, they, they both said that they're, you know, the dear one, you know, the... Uh, the second girl was like, well, he's been living with me for 20 years, so I'm his dear, 
whatever, but the wife, you know, would say, yeah, I know, I know, I haven't seen him for 20 years, but I'm his wife, so I'm obviously his deer. So the judge had to decide which one was the deer. Anyway, that was pretty stupid. So we're going to blend this. in there. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, it, it's important by the way that uh, you really mix it like very well, okay? Uh, if you don't mix it well, the glue is not uh, gonna take. Uh, so, alright, let's try it again. Alright, now what we have to do is uh, boil it. Uh, but it's best if we boil it uh, very low. Um, so at, uh, at uh, a minimum temperature, and uh, while we're boi boiling it, we have to stir it, but very slowly and repeatedly. So put the glue in here. Well, technically it's just water and flour, but it, it's going to to make a very good glue. So um, put here um, just around the minimum. So what would you what you're gonna do? Okay, basically, um, uh, maybe you need uh, something to stir with. Um, okay, well the spoon's gonna it's going to be okay, I think. Not sure what the white stuff here is. Um, anyway, um, and um, okay. You're, while it's boiling, you're just gonna mix like this, you know, little by little, and uh, it's going to have, you know, little, little. It's gonna boil just a little bit, and when it starts turning yellow, it means that it's ready. Okay, so you can glue like books. It's really, really good um, to glue uh, broken books back together, you know, uh, paper stuff like this. So. Uh, well, we're just gonna wait because it takes a long time. Anyway, I was watching the um, the movie uh, Titanic recently, and there was a scene that caught my attention. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it, but uh, at the beginning of the movie, there's uh, this guy, uh, a very rich guy. Uh, I think he was like uh, the girl's husband or something. And um, when he uh, gets off the taxi. Uh, to board uh, the ship, uh, he gets out and he says something like, he points to the, the, the ship and he says, you know, uh, this ship is unsinkable, uh, God himself couldn't sink the ship. And right next to him there's a, uh, an employee who's there and, you know, as soon as he said that, they start making arrangements like for luggage and everything. And that got me thinking, it's quite a culture shock between today and, uh, uh, well, the early 20th century. When you think about it, if you're in an airport and you're about to board and you're talking about, you know, uh, how the plane uh, can't crash or something, uh, you're probably going to get arrested or have uh, uh, the Department of Homeland Security beating you up and breaking your arms, you know. Alex Jones says that they always break your arms, uh, but then again he says a lot of weird stuff as well. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's kind of weird when you think about it, you know, you have a guy and they let him on the ship and he was talking about the, the ship, like, sinking, you know? Uh, so, like, back then, you know, people weren't really afraid of terrorists and all that. I mean, ouch! I almost dropped this. I mean, the Ottoman Empire had just uh, fallen and everything, so uh, it wasn't pretty bad. Okay, we're gonna... I'm gonna take a little break here and uh, we're gonna see uh, how this holds up uh, when it's ready. Alright, see you guys.